Hello and welcome back uh, to this small video on 10% uh, reservation for economically weaker section. As you know, the sine qua non for getting a right answer is to frame the right question. Sahi jawab paane ke liye sahi sawal frame karna bhoot zaruri hai. In this video, we will talk about the modalities of implementing the 10% reservation in direct recruitment for economically weaker section introduced since uh, 15th February 2019 by the Government of India, Department of Personal Training issued the order. The doubt which is very often raised while implementing this 10% reservation for economically weaker section is whether the 10% reservation should be calculated on the total number of posts in the particular cadre or should it be calculated on the 10% of the vacancies arising on or after 15 February 2019. I will further clarify and specify the question with help of an illustration. However, to appreciate this question, let us go back a little into the history of how there was a paradigm shift in the calculation of entitlement of the reserve category from the year 1997 because of the Supreme Court judgment, judgment in RK Sabarwal versus uh, State of Punjab. Which was now till this judgment, the entitlement of the reserve category used to be calculated based on the vacancies which would arise in that particular cadre every year. So every year there would be vacancy, they would calculate the percentage reserved for scheduled cast, scheduled tribe, OVC of those vacancies and advertise them and fill them up. Matter went to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court held that reservation for scheduled cast, scheduled tribe and OBCs should be calculated not on the vacancies which arise every year, but on the total cadre strength. Accordingly, the DOPT, Government of India, issued an order on 2-7-1997. So, Department of Personal Training issued this order, reservation rosters, to implement the judgment of the R.K. Savarwal versus State of Punjab. Reservation dated 2nd July 1997. Let us uh, try to understand the concept of post-based reservation which was uh, laid down in the R.K. Sabarwal judgment. Uh, let us take uh, any uh, hypothetical organization ABC in which there is a cadre of data entry operator in the year 2019. So we are in the year 2019 and we are taking that there is a cadre of data entry operator. Total number of posts in this Card is 100. So there are 100 posts. All the posts are occupied. That means there are 100 persons working in the cadre of data entry operator. And in this department, the recruitment rules prescribe 100 percent direct recruitment. These are things we are assuming to understand the concept of post based. So it is 100 percent direct recruitment. And in 2019, there are 100 persons working, there are no vacancies. Whenever vacancies will arise due to death, retirement, promotion, etc., it will be filled by direct recruitment. Now, since there is direct recruitment, there will be reservation for scheduled cast, scheduled tribe, and OBC. But the first thing that one has to understand is how many scheduled cast, scheduled tribe, OBC should be there? What is their entitlement? So, we work out as per post based concept, since the reservation is applicable on the total number of posts, kindly see it is applicable on the total number of posts. There are 100 posts, therefore we will calculate reservation with reference to 100 posts. So the entitlement of the schedule cast, I will write it on the right hand side as a rough work. So schedule cast entitlement will be 15% because reservation for schedule cast is 15. So 15% 15 of 100 gives us 15. So schedule casts are entitled to 15 seats out of 100. Similarly, schedule tribe is entitled to 7.5% of the 100 posts. That will be 7.5 as per the government of india order any fraction is to be ignored so if it is 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 it will be ignored so we ignore 0 0.5 so scheduled tribes are now entitled to 7 obc similarly 27 percent of 100 obc will be entitled to 27 out of 100 so if we prepare prepare a tabular chart of what is the entitlement of scheduled cast, scheduled tribe, and OBC. Then, number of persons required 
out of 100 will be 15 for scheduled cast, 7 for scheduled tribe and 27 for OBC. So required is 15, 7, 27. This must be very clear. Unless we know what is required, we cannot apply reservation. Now when I check out of 100 persons, how many are actually there? So let me write it like this. Actually, how many are there? You may call it in position or whatever by whatever English you may call it. Find that actually there are 15 scheduled cast who have come through reservation. On the contrary, I find there are only five scheduled tribe who have come through reservation, not seven, five. And similarly, in the OBC category, I find there are 26 OBCs, not 27. So there is a shortfall or excess. We can write it here, shortfall or excess. So there is a shortfall excess in schedule cast, it is zero. In schedule tribe, it is minus two and OBC, it is minus one. I am just assuming this, it could be anything. Now, if this is the position, there are 15 scheduled cast by reservation, 5 by scheduled tribe, 26 OBCs, then obviously remaining would be unreserved people. So, remaining unreserved, although there is no reservation for unreserved, there is no need to write it here, but yet we are just to understand for sake of clarity, the required in this cadre, unreserved will be 51, but actually since there are less number of scheduled tribes and OBCs, you can calculate the number of unreserved will be 54. More you are than there should be. Perfect reservation would be there should be 15 scheduled cast in the cadre maximum. Maximum number of scheduled tribe in this cadre should be 7. Maximum number of OBCs by reservation should be 27. Kindly see that there are 54 UR. There will be some SCHT out of this 54 also. There will be some scheduled cast, scheduled tribe and OBCs out of these 54, but we are not counting them for the purpose of representation for the simple reason because those scheduled cast, scheduled tribe OBCs would have come on their own merit in the unreserved category. This uh, is the concept of post base. So we will calculate reservation with reference to the total number of posts. So entitlement is 15, 7, 27. Actually, there are 15, 5, 26. There is a shortfall of scheduled tribe by minus 2. OBC by minus 1. Now, how do we make up the shortfall? That is the question. Let us assume, now we are assuming that next year, in the year 2020, next year, this is the next year. In next year, we find that total 9 persons from this cadre have retired. And those people who have retired in this, from these 100 post let us say there are six people who are general obviously they must have retired from here and let us also assume just for the sake of argument that three sc people have retired but all these scs are not from this they are all from this 54 that means unreserved scheduled cast have retired those scheduled cast who came against the unreserved vacancy so the post based concept is all these vacancies would be unreserved. However, you can now see, although there are nine people who have all gone from unreserved, but there is a shortfall in scheduled tribe by minus two and shortfall in OBC by minus one. So immediately what we will do in the year 2020, we will reserve out of nine, two for scheduled tribe. And immediately out of 9, 1 we will reserve for other backward classes. That means 6 more vacancies are now left for us to decide. Obviously, we will not reserve anything for scheduled cast out of these 9. Kindly see, no vacancy will be reserved for scheduled cast because 15 scheduled cast are already in position. Their representation is complete. So, there will be nothing reserved for scheduled cast. So, this 6 vacancy will be for unreserved. Am I clear on this point? So, if this is the reservation in government service, SC, ST, OBC, then our 2020 advertisement for direct recruitment of 9 vacancies would be 2 for scheduled tribe, 1 for OBC, 6 for UR. However, now we are now coming to the main point on which this video has been made. That is, in the year 2019, 
गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इंट्रोड्यूस द रिजर्वेशन फॉर इकोनॉमिकली वीकर सेक्शन बाय इशूइंग एन ऑर्डर ऑन नाइनटीन दिस ऑफिस मेमोरेंडम हैज बीन मेड इफेक्टिव फ्रॉम फर्स्ट फेब्रवरी टू थाउजेंड नाइन मीन ऑल वेकेंसीज विच वुड अराइज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट फेब्रवरी टू थाउजेंड नाइन विल हैव टू अप्लाई टेन परसेंट रिजर्वेशन फॉर इकोनॉमिकली वीकर सेक्शन द क्वेश्चन विच अराइज एंड ऑफन दिस डाउट इज रेज हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट दिस टेन परसेंट रिजर्वेशन फॉर इकोनॉमिकली वीकर सेक्शन डू वी कैलकुलेट दिस टेन परसेंट एंटाइटलमेंट बेस्ड ऑन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पोस्ट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर कार्डर जस्ट एज वी डिड इन द केस ऑफ शेड्यूल का शेड्यूल ट्राइब ओबीसी or should we calculate the entitlement of economically weaker section by calculating 10% of only the vacancies which arise on or after 1st february 2019 this is what we will try to understand and we will try to understand with reference to the illustration that we have talked about just now so if we come back to the illustration we will see that uh, in this post of 100 data entry operator there should be 15 schedule caste 7 schedule tribe 27 obcs and if i write the entitlement of economically weaker section then i can write it here then economically weaker section required should be 10 because if we are calculating reservation for schedule caste schedule tribe obc with respect to total number of post how can we not calculate it for ews in the same way so the entitlement of ews out of 100 is 10 but actually there will be no economically weaker section candidate in the cadre so it will be zero and there will be a shortfall of economically weaker section in the cadre as on 2019 in the data entry operator it will be minus 10 so there is no economically weaker section candidate coming through reservation in this cadre and the question is please remember the sine qua non for a right answer is to frame the right question and now i am framing the right question so that there is no ambiguity in my question the question is out of these six vacancies which still remain for unreserved so how many we will reserve for economically weaker section there are two two views basically which are there the first view is that reservation of 10% should be calculated on the vacancies which arise after 1st february 2019 on or after 1st february 2019 and it should be calculated on the total number of vacancies which arise in this case total number of vacancies which arise is 9 so we should calculate 10% of the vacancies which arise for reserving for ews so ews how much he should get 10% of 9 this is one view so the view is do not calculate 10% on the total number of posts because that that indicate that there will be 10 ews candidate we require in this cadre view is that 10% should be calculate on the nine vacancies which arise in the year 2020 and it should be calculated like this why this view persist is maybe because of the para 11 of the 31st january 2019 office memorandum now this is the 31st january 2019 office memorandum i'll show you what the para 11 says now you can see what the para 11 says para 11 says the above scheme of reservation will be effective in respect of all direct recruitment vacancies to be notified on or after 1st february 2019 some people interpret it as meaning that 10% of the vacancies should be calculated and not 10% of the total number of post in the cadre however you can see this does not say like that it only says that this 10% reservation will be applicable not to the vacancies which have already been advertised and obviously it means very naturally it cannot be applicable to those post which have been advertised previously obviously the all the order any order government of india order can say is that please apply 10% reservation on the vacancies which arise after the issuance of this office memorandum which is 31st january 2019 it nowhere tries to say that 10% should be calculated only on the vacancies which arise after 2019 it says that please apply this reservation on the vacancies which arise after 19 but nowhere it says that calculate 10% also on the vacancies and not on the total number of post however let us come back to the illustration again. if we come back to this illustration again we will find that we will have to calculate 10% of 9 which comes to 0.9 and there is a problem now 
those people who say 10% should be calculated on the vacancies which arise after 2019, then the value here is 0.9 and we know that fraction is to be ignored. That means EWS will get no vacancy reserved in the year 2020 when there are total 9 vacancies. And you can see this, this, this conclusion is farcical. How can there be 9 vacancies advertised and not even single for EWS? The other view, this view is that 10% should be calculated on the vacancy. Other view is that 10% should be calculated on the total number of posts and that gives us entitlement at EWS to 10 vacancies out of 100. Now, if there are 6 unreserved vacancies, we can obviously reserve some of it for EWS. How many is the question? Should we reserve one vacancy only for EWS out of six and five for UR. So should our advertisement be two scheduled tribe, one OBC, one EWS, five UR? Or can we reserve two for EWS and four for UR? Or three for EWS? and 3 for UR? Can it be 4 for EWS and 2 for UR? 5 for EWS, 1 for UR? What is the limit? Is the limit 50% of 90? Can we cross 50% of 9 vacancies for reserve? Can we go up to 60%? Now these are the questions on which we will come back next time and try to find an answer. I would leave it to the participant, to the viewer to respond to this question. Please remember, I have now posed a very, very specific question to you. In 2020, there are nine vacancies. Two, there is no doubt we will reserve for scheduled tribe. One, no doubt we will reserve for OBC because there is a shortfall of OBC by one. But what about EWS? Six vacancies are there. How many can be reserved for EWS? Please remember, whatever answer you give me, should be based on some instructions. There is no room for a personal interpretation in Government of India uh, orders, etc. So, can you suggest, can you tell me any instructions, orders by which, on the basis of which you have concluded, give me the answer. Uh, please keep that in mind uh, because this is a very crucial question. Lot of vacancies are being advertised every day for economically weaker section and there is a doubt all across the departments and ministries how should they be reserved. So bye bye, we will meet next time with the answer to this question. But till then, please respond in the YouTube channel whatever answers you can give me. Thank you very much. Bye bye.